All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video. And this video is all about what are the aspects in Vedic astrology. So what do you mean by astrological aspects? So basically, every planet from the place it is sitting, it will be seeing other places in the birth chart. Okay. So to give you an example, Saturn from the place it is sitting, it will be seeing first house, third house, seventh house and the tenth house. Whereas Venus, Mercury and even uh, Venus, Mercury, Sun, okay, and also Moon, these four planets will be seeing from the uh, seeing the seventh house from the place it is sitting. So and whereas Mars will be aspecting at first house, fourth house, seventh house, and eighth house, whereas Jupiter will be aspecting first house, fifth house, seventh house, and ninth house, okay. And whereas Rahu Ketu will be aspecting 1st house, 5th house, 7th house and ninth house. Okay. And uh, who else? Mars I have spoke about. Mercury I spoke about. Venus I spoke about. So these are nothing but acts aspect. That means although they are not present at certain house. But the aspects also plays a major role. Because the energy, the energy that is transmitted towards other houses in the birth chart can be seen from the aspects. And also... Let's say uh, your ascendant is basically Libra ascendant and your Libra ascendant, the Lord, the Lord will become Venus and if at all Venus is in the 10th house and for that Venus Rahu aspect is there or Saturn aspect is there or maybe Mars aspect is there. Depending upon that, the prediction changes. The depending upon that, the basically uh, depending upon the planetary alignment in your birth chart, uh, the predictions changes. Okay, so these are nothing but aspects. And also the, I have made a video on this long back. So please do watch that video also if at all you need more clarification with regards to this subject. Alright. So thank you so much for watching and bye for now.